show you guys an update of my hair so far. Um, my last perm was the middle of August, almost towards the end of August, and I officially started transitioning in September. So it is now December 5th, and um, we're pretty much doing like a uh, new growth check, growth check, so somewhere if you can say that. But um, I've been just twisting my hair. I really haven't been doing too much to it since the last two thousand since I washed it last and I really was being lazy with my hair and you know, just letting I'm just letting nature do its gonna do and just let it grow. I've been actually wearing it, um this is this is gonna look crazy to you guys. It looks crazy to me right now. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's actually like twisted up in the back and the reason I wanna show this is because of the new growth back here. If we can I don't know if my camera's actually pointed at it, but I have a lot of new growth here and I love it. It's especially the wave pattern. I like the wave pattern that I've been seeing. Um, I have them in like, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have maybe 10 plaits back here and I have them all plaited back in, you know, in like one just twist them all together and oh my hair looks a little shiny in this light but um anyway um I've been washing my hair with um Cream of Nature Detangle Shampoo and uh my condition with uh Neo 5 Tea Therapy Black Sage well Black uh Blackberry and Sage it actually smells awesome but um I actually grease my scalp with Softy Coconut Oil coconut oil and um at one I think it's called at one with nature it's a um a moisturizing lotion is shea butter and tea tree oil so that's what I've been doing in my hair my hair actually to me it feels dry but I haven't put any kind of moisture in my hair and um when did I do my hair I did my hair Wednesday and I twisted the back Thursday, so I haven't really put any moisture in my hair since Thursday. Well, Wednesday evening. But to me, it feels dry. But when I like go down in it like this and kind of spread it out or whatnot to the roots or whatever. But and I look at my fingertips. Are, there's actually a significant a lot of you know you probably can't see it. My fingertips are a little shiny from like digging in my hair. Even in the back, there's still like a probably see that really good. There's a significant amount of oil left in my hair. So I really haven't been really doing too much. Um, I leave it like that and I've been even wearing this headband just back like that. It's braids. You know, nothing really fancy. Or I will wear the um the other my other headband with the you know the two straps or whatever. They're like two two headbands split up you got one here and one there whatever but back I'll get I'll get them later I'll feel like getting up getting now but um yeah I just wanted to do like a growth check to um I don't know how good you can see this or not or whatever I'm trying to get in there as good as I can YouTube sorry if I can't see the back of my head correctly or to where you guys can see it oh uh, that's just a hassle I'm trying to do that I probably have to take pictures with my um <coughs> with my P3 camera and let you guys see it there because those pictures come out a lot better. But in the very back, I have this beautiful, beautiful wave, and it's so thick and pretty. Um, today I'm really not really worried about my hair, but today I'm gonna actually wash it today when I get up. It's cold here in Texas. It's if I'm not mistaken, it is about.
so you know the braids are not really that deep or whatever but but there is something I would like to show you it's one of my plaques one of my braids whatever and it would probably be this one this little baby here I love this today so um <coughs> sorry about falling in the mic I guess but yeah they're gonna get washed today and um we're gonna see it's been you know like I said it's been a process well it's been a little over four months since I started transitioning and I really want to see how long I can go but I'm really just like the more I touch and feel my hair the more I just want to go ahead and cut it like because now when I flat it or you know the three strand twist or even two strand twist or even just doing a twist out when I plait them um I try to do them wet because doing them dry it just I don't know the curls and definition doesn't it just looks tacky to me when it's dry so but when I actually twist my hair it doesn't like I can't get to the root I mean I can but my roots don't stay twisted so they make like they puff out so that's the reason for the headband and all those types of things but um, I'm actually going on a vacation here in a few days. Um, going to the country, going back home. And my sister, shout out to Shay Shay. Um, she braids. I'm going to get her to just, you know, twist me up until my birthday probably. Which is in February. And then we'll, we'll, we will see then about the big chop. We will see. Thinking about doing a medium chop just for the lip access. But considering the fact that I usually wear my hair if it's when it's long or when it's relaxed. I usually wear it down for maybe a week and then it's up in a ponytail or some crazy shit like that. But if you can see like in the front of my hair like look at that. And that's just like the little soft wave. It's not even really like I don't know. You guys have to tell me. But I love it. I like the way it looks. And I just saw Someone who looks like they have the same texture, hair texture as me. Um, I just saw oh, all that's gold. 